Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with Instax at the Fujifilm House of Photography in London. So you may have already seen Instax on my channel before. I absolutely love using Instax cameras and have used them ever since I was a teenager. So before I get started, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and we're gonna get straight on into it. So you might be wondering what an Instax Wonderwall is. It's a super simple and quick way to add wall art into your home using Instax prints. Using Instax prints not only creates an area of interest in your home, but if you use prints of your friends, family or even your favourite holiday then it's going to make you feel good. Instax makes three sizes of film for different cameras and printers in the range. Firstly, the mini film. This cute portrait film is actually the size of a credit card. You can use the mini film in any Instax mini camera or printer such as the Mini 11, Lee Play or Link printer. Next we have the square film. A beautiful iconic square shape that's to be used in the Instax square range of cameras and printers such as the new SQ1, SQ6, SQ20 and the SP3 printer. Lastly the wide film with its lovely large frame which is double the size of the mini film for use in the Instax wide 300 camera. All you'll need to create your very own Instax Wonderwall is your Instax prints, your Instax double sided stickers and a wall. It's that simple. And a helpful tip would be to take your print and try working it from the centre of your design first by figuring out the central point of your wall and then you can work outwards from there. There are so many designs that you can do and I'll show you a few examples in this video including this amazing checkerboard design. So feel free to pause at any time so you can copy them. Make sure to share your Wonderwall creations with us on Instagram and tag me at pagejoanna and Instax because we'd absolutely love to see your final results. Or you can just comment below and let us know which one is your favourite. I'm now moving on to this diamond shaped design and I'm using all blue toned images which helps create an amazing mood or feeling to your Wonderwall. I'm now moving on to word designs, so you can also check out my guest post on the Instax blog and I'll leave a link in the description box below, it will have lots of details on how to create your own designs, just like this one. And you can download a copy of my how to zine that I've produced with Instax too, it's got handy layout guides for all of my designs, so make sure to check that out and download it for free. And now for my ultimate favourite is corner designs. Often corners are left untouched for wall art, so even in small spaces you can create incredible results. It's a clever way to brighten your space and create amazing impact. As you can see, I've started from the centre again with this design and I've worked my way outwards. It just makes it a lot easier to do it that way. And you can get super creative just like this and go as high as you want to. It's completely up to you how bold you go. added impact, try working with specific colour tones to your images to match your room decor to create a mood or feeling with them. For example, this design features a rainbow so I've gone with red, yellow and green toned images to complete the look. And now for the star design, last but not least, it's got the ultimate wow factor. You start with one line and you can work your way outwards from there. If you stand back often and check it, you can make sure that it's all lined up properly and it takes a little while to do, but it looks incredible when it's done. So 
that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it has inspired you to create your very own Instax Wonderwall at home. I'm sure you can agree there was lots of inspiration in this video so you can take it away and create them for yourselves. Let me know in the comments what one you decide to do and if you're new to this channel then make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and yeah, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye!